Hi again, this is John Barber, and this for me is a brief but necessary open letter to Joe Rogan. Now that's a little like David taking on Goliath, but that's what little David does. He hurls truth stones at outfits like the Warren Report. Joe, you and everyone else in this country knows that in 2016, Donald Trump became president of the United States for two very, very obvious reasons. The first one being he wasn't Hillary. And the second one being that he was smart enough to appear often with the king of conspiracy, Alex Jones on InfoWars, with his very, very large audience, a lot of audience like you have. That's what made him the president. And Donald Trump became to the presidency what Alex Jones eventually became to journalism. Alex Jones lost his credibility when he bumbled over Sandy Hook. And Donald Trump lost his credibility when he bumbled over the virus. And yet here we have you, in spite of this country being in the greatest mess it's been in in centuries, while under his watch, you want to give us four more years of that train wreck in the White House. In other words, you want to be 2020's Alex Jones. Joe, this is incomprehensible to me. I mean, I loved it a year ago when you were the strongest, most vocal supporter of Tulsi Gabbard, the only peace president in the entire political system. How on earth do you go from Gloria Steinem to Gomer Pyle? And it's as clear as COVID that Donald Trump and Joe Biden are by far the worst two presidential candidates ever scraped from the bottom of any political barrel. And you know, and we all know, it's not the president that has to be changed. It is the system. It is the system that still tries to live on the lie of the murder of John F. Kennedy. It is the system that allows bumbling, inarticulate war criminals like George Bush to reach that office. Bill Clinton, by far the worst president in American history who actually destroyed this country. Well, it was Bush who destroyed Iraq. Bill Clinton, the worst president in history, is now being chased by that real estate hustler you want back there for four more years. Joe, back in 1970, when millions of Americans were taken to the streets to protest the fake Vietnam War, the flower children were saying, what if they threw a war and nobody showed up? Wouldn't it be wonderful, Joe, if they threw an election and nobody voted? So to me, you would show a lot more class and a lot more love for this country and the tattered constitution which is only hanging by the threads if you would urge your very large audience to boycott this election just to protest the system. You do a very good show. You look good and you sound good and you have interesting guests all the time. But there are a lot of people on the internet, a lot of guys who do the exact same thing. Interesting guests, talk good, and look good. And I have people ask me all the time, why is it that Joe Rogan is so popular? I don't know. I can only guess and I can only surmise. And my guess would be that you had a head start over all of the rest of them because you became instantly famous and very well known by being absolutely the most tasteless and worst host of any show in the history of the United States. And that was as the host of Fear Factor, where you would corner individuals to find out how much money it would take for them to eat a bucket of cockroaches. Only in this country, only in America, with its declining bread and circuses culture, could someone that tasteless become that rich and that famous. Move over, Howard Stern.